Jungkook. What's the news, Justin? Jungkook asked his right hand man while putting on his coat. Justin, boss, you have a meeting with Mr. Shane about the arms deal and shipments related to them. Justin spoke while going through the tab, and Jungkook hummed and spoke. Jungkook, and when and where is the meeting? Jungkook turned around after taking a final look at himself. J Justin, boss, at 6 p.m. in the mall owned by him. He has a personal club there that he uses for special occasions. Jungkook, then keep check on the security. You know I don't trust anyone. Jungkook said while grabbing his cell phone and wallet from the table. Justin, already done it, boss. Jungkook, great, then let's go to the office for now. Jungkook said and left the room while Justin followed him quickly. Meanwhile, Vyan, Ria. Vyan, you are coming to tonight's party, right? Your best friend asked after you both had your last class and you looked at him with a sigh. Vyan, I wish I could, but you know my problem. Mom and Dad won't let me go out this late. You sat sadly while looking at your hands. Ria, Vyan, it's my birthday. You have to come. Last time I forgave you because you got sick, but this time no way. And don't worry about uncle, I'll talk to him and then I'll drop you personally at home, okay? Ria said sternly and you smiled at her because you know she will convince your dad because your dad has known her family for a long time and he can trust them, Gwine. Okay, okay, then I'll be there to celebrate your birthday. You said while hugging her and she also smiled at you. Gwine. Oh my god. You gasped loudly when you reached at home and your dad looked at you weirdly and asked, Your dad, what happened? Are you okay? Vyan, I haven't bought Ria's birthday gift yet. Now what would I do? You said with a frown and your dad looked at you with a done face. Yes, your dad gave you permission to go to the party after Ria requested with a sad face when your dad went to pick you up from college. Your dad, seriously Vyan, you just came from outside. You could have told me before. Your dad said with a tired sigh and you looked down with shame. Dad, now don't make this face. You know I don't like it. And let's go, I'll take you to the mall. Your dad said with a fake annoyance and your face lit up. You quickly hugged your dad while saying thank yous and ran towards your room to change your uniform. You entered the mall with your dad beside you. When Dad, you can go to the bookstore and buy the books that mom asked you to. Till then, I'll get a gift for Ria. You said to your dad who was looking at his watch because it was almost evening and you both had to go back as well. Your dad. Are you sure you can go alone? Your dad asked with a worry still contemplating. When Sure dad, don't worry it won't be long. And then I'll join you right away after buying the gift. You said with a smile to reassure him that you would be alright and he nodded as yes and then you went to the gift shop which was on the third floor where you bought a gift for your friend. After taking a gift you quickly ran to the elevator to get to the first floor to meet your dad who already texted you that he is waiting. You were tapping your foot on the floor impatiently because you wanted to get back home quickly so that you can then get ready for the party. But the elevator was taking time more than usual. You were about to turn to the other one when the elevator doors open. You gulped with wide eyes when you saw a very tall and buff guy looking very intimidating. Jungkook, are you coming in or not? You snapped back to reality when you heard a deep voice and saw the same guy looking, glaring at you with a frown like he's angry or something. Vyan, so sorry, I, I just... You stammered but shut your mouth and quickly entered in the elevator while avoiding his eye contact. You held the gift back tightly while praying for the time to run fast so that you could leave this place or most probably this scary looking guy. But seems like luck wasn't on your side because you felt the elevator shake a bit and then it stopped. Jungkook, what the hell? You flinted at the sudden voice and looked back to see the same guy who quickly pressed different buttons in case to make the elevator work again. But it went all in vain and then you saw him breathing heavily and quickly typing on the cell phone which probably didn't work because of low signals and the way he was acting frustrated. 
so you spoke to make him calm even though you were really scared of this guy wine hey don't worry it will be all right but you quickly shut your mouth when he glared at you for a good second and then again got busy with his cell phone but the silence didn't last you longer when he smashed his cell phone on the ground and then started banging and shouting on the elevator door while breathing heavily and you could tell that he was having a panic attack you quickly put your things down and pull the guy towards you from the arm who looked at you with hooded eyes and sweating face wine hey you need to calm down the doors would be open in a while just take deep breaths come on you said while looking straight in his eyes who seemed like he's gonna faint jungkook open it please i can't breathe we please the guy said while leaning down to the floor and clutching his throat and breathing heavily wine hey hey open your eyes and breathe you quickly held him when you saw him closing his eyes and the next moment he fainted in your arms you looked at him with wide eyes froze on your spot when you saw the same scene replaying after a long time but you can't let it happen this time not again you took a deep breath and laid the guy down on the floor and started pressing his chest while giving him cpr your hands were trembling and your heart was beating really fast but you didn't give up and after almost 20 minutes you saw him opening his eyes and a sigh of relief left your mouth you picked up your cell phone when it dinged and saw a text from your dad you dad hey honey i hope you are fine i have talked to the management and they said it will be fine in 20 minutes i couldn't call you because of signals but don't worry you smiled at the text and then looked back at the guy who was now staring at you when Hey get up my dad texted me and they said the management is going to fix it in a few minutes and then we'll be out you said with a smile to make him relax which probably worked because the guy nodded slightly Jungkook why did you help me Jungkook asked while still laying on your lap because he was feeling better that way or maybe he wanted a distraction why my younger brother drowned in front of me and even though i could have saved him after but i didn't know the basic aid and it was like a na- nightmare to me why so i later learned everything about the first aid and also i am a pre med student so i knew how to give a cpr and jungkook wait, wait what you faint at his sudden loud voice but then you got up when the elevator started moving and then it opened You quickly picked up your things and ran to your dad who was waiting for you with a worry on his face. Dad, are you okay, honey? Wine. I'm fine, dad. Let's go. We are already late. You said quickly and then left with your dad. Meanwhile, Jungkook also got up and tried to come towards you, but his guards and media were gathered there who didn't let him go easily, which made him groan in anger. And then he turned to Justin and spoke, Jungkook. find out who was the girl with me in the elevator and then he whispered to himself while looking at your way jungkook see you soon my savior he said while touching his lips slightly <laughs>